Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, I got a 24 foot gooseneck trailer. And if you look behind me, I got a 2011 F-150 EcoBoost. It, this truck, when I bought it, I didn't realize that it had one of the highest towing capacities of an F-150, basically up to 2018, I believe. It has a towing capacity of 11,300 pounds. So now that we have two Jeeps and we're traveling farther from home, I basically decided that instead of having my brother drive the Wrangler, that it would be safer in case something broke down that we get a trailer that could hold two Jeeps. So I drove about an hour and a half last night and bought us a 24 foot, um, 102 inch wide gooseneck trailer. Um, the guy I bought it from said he assumes it to weigh about 3,500 pounds. If you guys think otherwise, please tell me down below. I have no real knowledge of how much trailers weigh. There's no stickers on this. The information I did look up seems to be pretty accurate with that. So 3,500 pounds, the Jeeps together weigh about seven. So we might be in a pretty good safe ballpark of it. Um, I do have a few extra things done to my truck that I feel like should allow us to be able to tow this safer. Um, let me go ahead and flip you guys around to show you a little bit what I have done to my truck. All right, so here we have it. Like I said, it's the 2011 F-150 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. Um, it has a six inch lift on it, 33 inch tires. Um, but what I do have that's a little bit different is I do have airbags. And I, this truck came with the brackets when I bought it. Uh, the airbags were bad, but I went ahead and I thought I ordered the right ones and I ordered ones that were too short, so I put washers with the longer bolt on the bottom. But other than that, they seem to work. Um, I'm not quite sure what PSI I'm running in them. I do need to check that before I put any heavy stuff on the Jeep, or on the trailer, my fault. But here's my gooseneck hitch that you see behind it. This is the arm that pulls out the ball from inside the bed. Now, I bought this gooseneck hitch off Facebook and it is actually for a 2015 to 2017 F-150. So again, not made for my truck, but I got a really good deal on it. I think the gooseneck for my truck is like $500. I paid 150 for this one. So I was able to basically modify it and weld it in place and then also bolt it. Um, don't, don't mind the mess, I, it's, it's been a busy week. But you can see I got my tow hook, um, well, basically my tow hook, safety chain hookups, the ball. Um, here's kind of a little bit more about the trailer. As far as I know, it's a 2000, 24 foot, 102 inches wide. The guy that I bought it from, he kind of had a small trailer car lot basically, and he took this one on trade. Um, this jack is, well, I don't want to say it's broken because it, it halfway goes down, but if you push it down any farther than that, it gets stuck and you have to basically beat it up. It's missing one of these arms that pull out that basically when you push it down, you push the arm in or you turn the arm first, then push it in and it keeps it down and then you can jack it so you don't have to put blocks under it. So I do need to look into whether or not I can fix that one or if I need to get a new one. Um, it did come with the extra steel on the front so mason's gonna love that it did have ramps that are a little twisted so i don't really trust myself welding on or welding up new ramps so i'm probably going to look for a used set or see about having a shop build me one now this is my bed cover that i had on the truck i just took it off last night because i didn't well, it, it has to sit up and it will cover my back window. So it was getting late last night and I wanted to be able to see as much as I could. So I took that off. Um, has four, no, it has three car tires, four different tires, clearly. Um, the car tires don't match. None, none of the sizes, none of the treads. So I'm gonna have to get new trailer tires. The trailer could definitely use some paint and potentially a new deck, um, but that's going to be pretty costly so i chose to or i'm choosing to wait on that the ramps are supposed to go back here but they're a little bent so they're not going in there 
until I get new ones. Um, being a 24 foot, it I was looking for a 30 footer, but again, weight, I was concerned about it. So Mason and I looked up some more information about the Jeeps and my the Wrangler sits about 12 and a half feet and the Grand Cherokee sits about 15 feet. So call it 28 feet, but then you have the rear bumper of the Grand Cherokee that can overhang from the trailer. So we're hoping that we can basically get the wheels to fit on the trailer. If not, we were doing some research on YouTube and a couple people have welded on a couple feet on the back of the trailer. So we thought maybe that would be an option as well. Uh, overall, it's a really nice trailer. Never owning a gooseneck, never pulling a gooseneck. Um, overall, it seems like a pretty decent trailer. I am just going to go ahead and tell you guys, I have about $3,400 in this trailer. So I traded my car hauler and gave the guy 1200 bucks for this. And I had 22 in my car hauler. Um, so far, I think I'm okay. Other than by the time I put a deck on, I it's a ramp i mean a uh, jack i get ramps and i potentially paint it and get new tires on it i probably could have bought a better trailer but anywho i mean it just gives me more content now last night when i bought it it had and that's what i had up here i had or it had the um 5.510 don't need to have that around the jack it had the five pin trailer hookup and I have a seven pin on my truck. So I stop at O'Reilly's and I buy an adapter. None of the lights worked. So they're closing and I'm an hour from home and I don't have brakes. So I decided to buy a seven plug wire and I attempted to wire them in, not having any tools, but some black tape and strippers. So I wire them all up, nothing worked still. So then I start doing more and more research and I guess there's two different configurations for a seven pen. And of course I had the other one. So I got different colors wired to like say yellow to red, basically. Like that's what I had to figure out last night. Took me an hour and a half sitting in an O'Reilly's parking lot in the dark, trying to wire this up. Um, just really struggling with that. So now it's hanging and that doesn't look good. I will be installing a plug inside my truck to make this a little bit safer. This trailer also has the emergency brake. Well, the wires have been cut just on the other side of this and to the wire plug down here, they've been cut. Um, not sure where that went. There it is. The wires have been cut here. Uh, it does have a spare tire and it's a trailer tire. So we have that going for it. Um, but yeah, no, super cool trailer. All right, guys, so other than the bed cover, I haven't loaded anything on this trailer. So I thought, why not go get something heavy and get it on the trailer, get it strapped down, see if I can, if I can tow this thing with something heavy. So I came to Walmart. Probably not the best time to be out shopping, but I don't have any mask or gloves with me, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into Walmart and uh, I'm gonna buy something that I'm very excited about. And I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna get it strapped down. And I'm gonna show you guys just what I'm talking about. So let's go.
Alright guys, I finally got my first heavy load on the trailer and I'm ready to haul this thing down the road. I'm overly excited. You know, I talked to somebody about doing this today and they said they'd never seen somebody with a big, flat, heavy trailer pulling one of these. I mean, it's the best childhood memory you will ever see. I'm very, very excited to get to do that for somebody. And I kind of always wanted to do it too. So let's get in the truck and see how this baby pulls. Well guys, we got the trailer home. Yeah, again, this is my outdoor storage area. Got my trailer, got the Grand Cherokee, and a Sea-Doo. Um, about oh, two weeks ago, we had a 1993 Sea-Doo given to us. It's been stored inside for about 10 years. It's been, it supposedly started up a couple weeks ago and that was it. Hasn't been taken out in 10 years. So I haven't even looked at it. I parked it here and haven't looked at it since. Um, I did just dump the water out of it though from being outside and I need to get a cover for it or figure out if it runs first. But uh, here it is guys. I had a couple people drive past me giving me some funny looks. Um, hopefully they thought it was amusing because, well, I did. I, I laughed a few times. Um, but yeah, got, got some videos coming up. Be working on this. Got to make sure the Jeep and the Wrangler fits. I got to bend out ramps. I might make a video of that. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy, excited about the trailer. and. Well, thank you guys so much for just tagging along with this little adventure. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and hey, if you know anything, let me know. I will catch you guys next time.